thanks so much for staying with us, especially those of you watching us live on our social media platforms. While well, one in every seven men will be affected by prostate cancer globally, Bahamian men are at greater risk as studies show that men with African ancestry have a more aggressive form of prostate cancer. It also is being reported that it shows up 10 years earlier in those men than their racial counterparts. That's why urologist Dr. Gregory Pinto says the key to survival is early detection. Prostate cancer early, which all requires is a yearly annual blood test, a PSA, prostate specific engine blood test, we can cure you at almost 100% rate. So the five year survival of someone with early organ confined prostate cancer is almost 100%. 10 year survival is about 98%. So prostate cancer, although it's gonna affect a large number of Bahamian men, it's very treatable if we catch it early. Dr. Pinto says most men get prostate cancer between the ages of 64 and 68 years old. And hundreds of Bahamian men are dying due to a fear of being violated during testing. He allays those fears, noting how the process is easier nowadays. Since 2016, worldwide bodies have not completely disregarded, but they have found that there's very little validity in doing the routine digital exam, especially for men in their 40s. So that's not part of our screening process anymore. So I'm not going to do a digital exam if a man in their 40s comes to see me. All we're going to do is a routine blood test. If there's something abnormal, we'll do more specific blood tests. There's a urine RNA test that can pick up prostate cancer in terms of do you have low risk or high risk prostate cancer, and you can pick up prostate cancer at almost 98%.